All right, everyone. It is me, Judson Chan. Um, did I wind up wearing my orange t-shirt yesterday? Oh, good, I did it. So now there's going to be a little bit of alternative. I just only got like seven hours of sleep last night or something like that. Um, and I got constantly interrupted. So uh, unfortunately, I, I, I was watching too many videos, watching old NES games uh, on YouTube that I used to actually play. Uh, it has brought back, you know, good old childhood memories in the in the 90s when, uh, you know, when you still had to kind of just talk to your neighbor and play video games on your Nintendo. So uh, uh, th those were the, um, those were the days. Maybe it was the late 80s actually. That had to be the early 90s, I think. Uh, I don't know. It, it's like it's all kind of a blur at this point. Uh, but yeah. Um, so and on top of that, I also almost forgot how good the music was back then too. So. You know, it's, uh, I'm trying to reconnect with my past there so I can, like, you know, when I make the game, you know, I can try to, like, you know, bring some of that back to the modern day. Because at this point, you know, everyone kind of forgets about the 80s. And, you know, modern day pop culture, especially music, is basically a derivative of the 80s. And the 80s was, like, a derivative of something, I guess. Maybe the 60s or 70s. I don't know. It sounds, it sounds, dis it seems to have a distinct, like, it seems to be a distinct decade, to be honest. Uh, but either way, you know, today just, you know, music kind of sucks unless they do, sh you know, good string in instrument stuff. And, you know, my game will have that too, but I still kind of want something from the 80s as well and turn it into like, string instruments too. So it'll be kind of interesting to see if, uh, how we can make that work, uh, if it's even possible. Uh, plus, I also want to look at how, this, how they did storytelling back then too. Because I really liked the storytelling as a kid back then, but maybe it's because it was just overly simplistic. You know, and, you know, me being a kid, well, yeah. So anyway, I just simply refreshed it. I don't even know what's going on, but I kind of want to keep this short. I'm still a little groggy. You know, I'm going to spend, because I spent too much time playing Tarkov yesterday. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised. It's like, I actually was actually able to kill some people, but they were, that's because they were kind of newish. Uh, but, you know, I'm running around with a little bit more gear because uh, I just have a lot of money. Um, but the problem is I still can't figure out how to convert it efficiently into experience. So... Uh, I just got to run with a little gear, and the problem is gear doesn't, I feel like it doesn't matter because everyone's running armor-piercing bullets, so, uh, I don't know, what do you, what do, you do? Uh, but I understand why, because, you know, Tarkov is a, um, uh, like, they have a hard time because how do they want to balance their game, right? If you give people too much good gear, then you can't kill them. That's not balanced, but then if you give everybody the ability to kill each other instantly yes you balance that aspect of the gear but the flip side is it's also very imbalanced in that there's no point in wearing uh, heavy gear now people still do it because obviously not everybody is cheating most people don't cheat and uh what should i call it um yeah you know you, your your armor does actually help because if they don't hit you in the face with like the precise pinpoint uh super expensive bullet you know you'll actually survive and tank a lot of the hits in fact you take very little damage you know for me you know that's what I, that's what i want to do with me like they kept hitting my i don't even think they hit my helmet even though they hit me in the face and killed me instantly they definitely hit my uh chest but i had an armored chest rig that's actually pretty tough armor it just took very little damage <laughs> and then i blew his face uh blew his head off it was actually pretty cool so uh yeah so i'm getting better at the game uh, anyway, uh, Bitcoin searches for this week is actually spiking. Now it's at 18 for this uh, for last week, technically. So that's actually very interesting. Prices everywhere are like total dog shit. But, you know, as we could see, um, like I said, man, human emotions are just, uh, just all over the place. That's why it's 50% fundamentals and 50% emotional, uh, you know, uh, emotional panic. Because people don't think rationally. That whole uh, thing that you learn in college, or at least I did, the rational investor theory, that's like 95% bullshit. Only like 5% of those so-called investors, maybe a little more, are actually rational. Everyone else is just panic selling uh, or panic buying. And even the rich people that know what they're doing, sometimes they have to join in on it because they're willing to gamble. Right? Just like when last week I was able to predict the ups and, ups and downs, but I chose not to gamble. Uh, but I could have shorted and then close the short at the end of the day and then tomorrow and then maybe buy a, oh, a, a call position so that when it bounces, dead cat bounce. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. When it does dead cat bounce the next day, let's do one month. 
right? Dead cat bounce, right? Goes back. Uh, great. Uh, what? Okay, ninth. Uh, here we go. So, like, that, it's hard to see here. Shit, we're going to have to do five days, I think. Uh, this chart sucks. Can I have the better chart? Yeah, there we go. I was like, where is the better chart? Here we go. Um, God, I already kind of forgot what was going on already. So, yeah, it goes down, then it goes back up, and then, you know, I probably sell at the peak for the call and then short it again. And it's like, you know, it, it gets a little too much. The best would have been here, though, right? Short here, 2,000 point drop. Then after I make my short profits, you know, buying like a put option, I then sell it and then I buy a call option, very expensive, very risky. Then, you know, I ride it back up, then down, then back up. It's like, yeah, I'm just not going to do that, you know, so. Uh, but yeah, that's what uh, some of the experienced rational investors would do. Uh, and then, of course, because they're buying and selling along with the rest of the market, that actually contributes to it. But the problem is... For every win, you're eventually going to lose, right? That's one of the reasons why I do actually, <clears throat> as well, like, now, now that I've played Tarkov and forced myself to get over, like, the gear fear, I still have gear fear, so I'm like, okay, so, you know, I just, uh, I find different ways to get around it, and I find it's not a problem. You know, sometimes, like, some people can brute force through a problem, right? That is especially true for, like, big muscular men. But for me, like, that's not the case. It's like it just doesn't work, especially because I'm Chinese. So nobody really takes us seriously. So we're, so we're always like the, 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 the pushovers, right? At least in my case. Um, other, my, my other family members tend to be like tall, a little taller and bigger. So maybe they're not physically bullied uh, nearly as much. But for me, that's not the case. So I always have to develop sideways to deal with it, you know, especially jocks. But that's because jocks, especially in college, are always just huge assholes to begin with. Uh, so, I don't know, I don't even remember where I was going with this, but, uh, I remember, um, yeah, I'm just not going to gamble, so, Bitcoin dance is at 63.7%, 24 hour value is very modest at 111 billion, uh, again, because it's the weekend, Bitcoin's at 53.33, that's a nice, smooth, flat line, that's beautiful, that's exactly what we want to see, if we want things to go up, right, or at least catch our breath so we can figure out what the hell is going on. Litecoin's at a little under 36, nice beautiful flat line. So as you can see on the right hand side, everything's just flat lining. And that's what we want. Hold on, I got a notification here. Uh, let's see, yeah, you know, I don't have time to watch an ad, so we're just gonna do this. Dog coins at 210 million market cap, also flat lining. And Steam, which has actually been doing extremely well, uh, 13.70 cents is also flatline. All right, so basically the cryptocurrency markets are winning on the rest of the world. Um, Nike is closing all their so uh, stores, so other other countries. Investors are preparing for more market bar, uh, market swings. Coronavirus puts hotels, cafes, bars at risk of extinction. Yeah, so a family member actually told me that a lot of businesses uh, in, in this my family member's neighborhood is actually closing uh, uh, here in New York City because they're, because no one's going to these, uh, I, think she, uh, I think it was a restaurant or something. Yeah, I was like, I was actually kind of shocked. Like, how do you already go out of business? It's only been one month. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, you know, I, I guess, uh, <laughs> well, I guess you better learn to do shit online, right? Because, because. I already been through all this before, you know, like shortly after the Great Recession of 2008-2009 and you know, I just want to do my own thing. It's like, well, you know, of course, uh, had I really know, had I really been following Christianity as early as like pretty much forever my whole life, including the beginning of the 2000s, my life would have been so much better and different, um, especially when it came with money. Because I would have just accepted that, yes, I had to live with my mom and dad for at least, you know, four, six years, have them annoy me, then I would have eventually like, you know what, I kind of want to do background acting, you know, because I got very interested. I just didn't know you could get paid for it. It's like, huh, it's like there is actually a whole thing around this. Because <laughs> I always just thought that there was just random people that they just grab off, like they don't grab off the street. They just, like you just take your camera and then you know, people pass by the camera and then they get free content, <laughs> free actors. That's how I originally thought it was. And it turns out that's actually not true. 
God, so yeah. And then I would have been, I definitely would have been at least 10, 20. I actually probably would have been very close to being a hundred millionaire by now, you know, uh, by my current age, right? Because I would have been able to continue to compound. Then I would have made my first, uh, my first, definitely millions, but possibly first 10, 20 million during the housing crash. Because all I have to do is I would be sitting pretty well in, uh, 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 on cash. I buy all the cheap real estate because everything was crashing. And then shortly thereafter, I would have th uh, found out about Bitcoin, and then uh, I had a different mindset, and then I would be like, you know what? I better, I better <clears throat> buy up a lot of this Bitcoin. This, sh this shit is really cheap. And then it would boom in 2011, 2012, and I'd be like, okay, I'm dumping, right? Pay the capital gains tax on that, or maybe the ordinary income tax on it, right? Uh, and then at the bottom, after a few years, more development, I do more research, and they're like, you know what? 2015, 2016, I think the only difference is I would not have considered getting high proof of stake interest uh, coins because uh, I would have no need for it, right? So uh, that's the only thing that I think might have been different. And of course, because of that, I probably would not have met Mitch. But I don't know. Uh, life seems to have a way of no matter what choice I make, I also still wind up meeting the same people I would have anyway. So I assume that's God, uh, God's plan at work. So it's, so, so it's kind of something to think about. But I definitely know I would have been a lot richer. So now I'm playing catch-up. Uh, people aren't driving as much. So Geico, you see fewer accidents reported the last 10 days because no one is driving because everyone's scared of coronavirus. Yeah, uh, yeah, because Chinatown here in Manhattan, uh, here in New York City. I'm not in Manhattan, but, you know, I live, uh, but... Uh, yeah, I'm told that basically it's kind of empty, but you still see tourists there, and that's it. All right, so no real fundamental news there. JFC coin, five to six. You know, it looks pretty scary looking, right? Red, but that's because it's going from five to six up from seven. So, you know, you got a little more dumping. Uh, you got a lot of dumping. So someone's just abandoning JMC as usual. Uh, four, four coins up to 67 still, so it's been holding steady. Still got some buys at seven. Uh, more buys at seven. So it looks like someone's dumping all their JMC to go into uh, four four. So it's probably just normal, typical trading. Two by two, very solid, seventy one, seventy two to seventy four. Uh, these prices are only high, probably because everything else is low. So I suspect all these uh, prices will go down once the bull market starts back up again. Um, uh, with the exception of maybe two by two coin and compound coin, but we'll have to see. Compound coin, of course, is at 5,012 to 6,400 satoshis of a dog coin. It looks like there's been a lot of buying activity, too. The trade value is pretty nutty. Uh, a lot of selling, a lot of buying, probably, so works for me. All right, so um, don't really care about any of these uh, articles. Uh, where are we at? 13 minutes. Uh, blah, 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 blah. New uh, Bank of England governor sent Bitcoin bars a stark warning. Um, need to be. What's the bet? Let's see. So what's the Central Bank of England threatening here? Get out of my face. Uh, they need to be prepared to lose all their money and to his voice around about Bitcoin. Oh, okay. So he's just sh he's just shitting on Bitcoin, but he's not saying we're going to regulate it. He's just saying, hey, you're gonna lose all your money. Yeah, you can lose all your money buying puts, calls, options, and stocks. So it, it's whatever. It's, just, it's a benign criticism in this case. Because in this case, the only thing I would care about, because he's in a position of power, because he's actually the, well, he's actually like, they call it the governor of Bank of England. We would call it the chairman of the Federal Reserve. That's what we call it here in the United States. It's the same exact thing. Uh, yeah, it's a big deal. Um, because they run the actual fiat currency for their country. So, well, along with all the other governors and shit. Yeah, so, all right. So, it's it, it's a nothing burger. Stay safe from coronavirus, but keep your... Da, 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 da. Okay, so all this stuff is... Extreme fiat grips markets by oversold Bitcoin price metrics. Yeah, because, well, A, people are scared, but then B, people are also just not able to do much, Right. You know, the crashes that we see now are also pricing in the simple fact that economic, economic activity is going to be total dog shit for between now and, you know, until coronavirus, you know, everywhere just stops spreading, right? Especially as it gets warmer. Um, so Mike Cernovich said we have to wait another two weeks. So basically at the end of March, right, today's the 15th, 
to uh, the end of March is March 31st, which is the 31st. Um, when was Spring Equinox? 21st, right? Spring Equi uh, Spring 2020 date. Uh, spring officially starts uh, this Thursday, and it'll end on Saturday. So yeah, so this Thursday is March nineteenth. So spring is basically right, literally right around the corner. It's actually this week. So yeah, and it's already getting warmer. I mean, yesterday was a little, it was actually kind of chilly, and of course my landlord was a cheap piece of shit. The heat didn't actually come on until like six a.m., and I know because. I was constantly waking up and falling asleep. Yeah, so that's a bad sign because I had too much physical energy, and that's what happens when you uh, eat right before you sleep. I didn't even eat that much chips. I had like 120 calories worth, and that was more than enough to disrupt my sleeping pattern. But that's because I was just getting hungry. Cardano creator, da, 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 da. pandemic will pass. New age of tech advancement will uplift humanity. That's actually true. Uh, that's actually always been true. You know, so that's why things always get better. It's just. What bad stuff happens is because our world is not perfect. Because, well, the world is perfect. It's just we human beings are not perfect in the way we perceive it. But we're getting better, and eventually, it's we're going to become perfect, like in the eyes of God or something like that, right? That's why eventually, anti-aging technology, which we actually have technically, will be perfected so that you could actually physically live forever. And then I assume at that point, we're probably going to have to like start doing something about degeneracy and sin in some permanent form. And then I assume at that point, Jesus Christ will come back to earth and, you know, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it would be kind of cool, right? You just have a teleport, like you can actually just teleport, uh, travel back and forth between, you know, heaven actual and the real world here. So that'll be kind of interesting to see. Top analyst says crypto fog coming amid massive dysfunction, but Bitcoin will survive. Get D D Snowden's are Bitcoin trade ignites crypto Twitter. I don't really care about him. He's kind of like a cuck, so whatever. It's Coinbase, even though he did a good thing in exposing uh, the surveillance and NSA shit. Uh, Coinbase CEO says, if turn okay, we might be interested in this. Uh, Mr. Dark Charge operating, uh, what? I don't care. Uh, no, I'm sorry, against Dutch National, okay. Uh, rocket fuel crypto trader. Okay, this is from yesterday's news, and of course, we don't like Tony Base. Um, before I read that article, hunker down live updates. New York show soon they exposed to coronavirus uh, officials. That is hilarious. So, we're all infected essentially. Uh, but believe it or not, most of us are probably not infected, at least not yet. But assuming that you are is actually good because you're obviously going to change your patterns and that's what they want to do change our patterns so that we don't like you know do stupid shit in fact there was a uh, there was a uh, 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 a guy a, a black guy that was about to hop the subway turnstile but the, before he did that he was wearing he put on his gloves he took out his disinfected he sprayed down the entire turnstile where his hands were going to touch and then he hopped over it and, and, and then the uh, the MTA, uh, I guess I assume it was the MTA clerk, actually thanked him for that. Even though he's actually technically breaking a law, too. I mean, not the MTA guy, but the, the what do they call it? The turnstile hopper? Uh, I forgot what that, I forgot what it was called. So, so it's like, yeah, it's, 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 all, it's all dysfunction here, so... Yes, it is as ridiculous as it sounds, but yeah. So even the even the even even the turnstile hoppers are. I'm trying to remember what is the damn turn. I used to hear it all the time. It's not called turnstile hopping. It's something else. Uh, but you know, even they're taking coronavirus seriously. All right. So Brian Armstrong, that's the Coinbase CEO, who's censoring people or turning away from central uh, turning new sources for factual on the The process moved towards uh, information decentralization. Yes, the way we actually solve all the globalist problems that we have, assuming we cannot, um, you know, directly deal with the, you know, the the countries that cannot be named and cannot be criticized, because now I can't do political stuff, uh, at least not as aggressively. Uh, then the then the pe the most peaceful and sustainable way to do it is to decentralize everything from information to business to government itself. Uh, and I just have basically direct democracy. 
in, in everything that we do. The problem is, is how do you hold uh, direct democracy people accountable? How do you hold individuals accountable? So, um, yeah. The process is a move toward the info of the city and no trace from central. I try the parallels, the emergence of uh, decentralized digital currency, such as, you know, Bitcoin. Sign an article from blah, 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 New York Times, traditional media generally are just being disrupted. I know it as a source of truth by many, taking pot shots at Facebook to try and hold on to relevance. Seems to be their main strategy, which I don't think will go well. Uh, dee, 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 dee. I mean, this guy's kind of a fucking asshole because he's banned Laura Loomer, uh, Gab.com, which is Andrew Torva. And he's also banned a couple other people. This guy himself seems to be pretty reasonable. So, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't actually use Coinbase anymore. Uh, now I still have to log in one last time just to get access to, uh, well, actually, I don't know. Do I really need to do that? I think what I'll do is just do is just log into my bank account and just look at like last year and then just find out how much money I deposited from Coinbase. And then I'll just be that. COVID-19, pandemic, the pandemic is about a false identity, uh, blah, blah, blah. Our study believes that new systems will arise to help readers vet and verify the vast array of info that's available online. Yeah, um, as much as I like to slam fakepedia, uh, we have something called wikis, and everyone can tr contribute to it. That's actually a pretty good uh, foundation for creating decentralized media. And of course, you have BitChute, right? Thank you to the one or two people that subscribed. Uh, also, making sure that people, uh, you know, are, are held accountable. So, uh, oh, yeah, thank you to one person, I think, that subscribed to JMC Radio. So, you know, yeah, yeah, good channel's growing. Uh, I don't know. There's really just nothing for news. I guess we'll just use this picture. So, anyway, I want to go. So, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we could grow this channel. Uh, because why not? Anyway, I'm done for the day. I'm starting to get kind of hungry. It's a little too early to eat. It's only 11 a.m., but my stomach's whatever. So I don't know. I'll, I'll just, I mean, I'll go watch Ninja Gaiden 2 because, like, I, I played 1, 2, and 3. But I swear that in Ninja Gaiden 2, you had two clones for your ninja instead of. Instead of one, which is I'm seeing. But maybe it was a Ninja Gaiden 3 that you had the double clones. Because the clones were, like, really good. Uh, let me just show you. Because I do know a few people actually play video games, uh, too. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure this is kind of safe. Uh, let's see. Yes. Uh, looks like they have a more action-packed version of this game. Really? Oh, so they created a more modern version of it in June 2008, and they just named it exactly what it is. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to have to call it Nintendo, then. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These are... This is the old stuff. I actually had some pretty decent uh, music, too. I remember this fucking asshole over here. Oh, can you see my mouse? Yeah. Uh, this guy right here. Oh, man. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna click it. All right, this stupid asshole was like so freaking hard. Um, I forgot how you do it. Like, you have to hit him in the head, then you gotta watch the hands, and then you have to actually hit him in the center. I see. So, yeah, it was really, it was really pretty crazy. Uh, and then this also turned out to be a white knight kind of story, except the white knight's a ninja, so. Uh, specifically, really more well, yeah. I mean, a ninja that uses a samurai sword. This guy was also kind of a pain in the ass too. Um, so yeah, ah, uh, the memories. I also remember this game used to also kind of make me uh, scared to go to sleep at night too, because like the villain is like Ashtar or whatever. It's like it was just kind of scary looking. All right. Anyway, I'm done for the day. Uh, I'll see you all tomorrow's video, and then of course we'll find out what's happening. Because right now we're all just waiting on the markets, so that's why everything is just flatlining. Because uh, we just gotta see what people are gonna react. But specifically, we don't see anything new with coronavirus. So coronavirus called America's bluff has all gone to hell. Um, okay, tackle pandemic. So yeah, just typical stuff. Uh, and funny enough, all the people that are pro-degenerate are the ones uh, hit the hardest. 
So, uh, yeah, maybe it really is God's will. Yeah. But, oh well. <clears throat> God is merciful, so if, uh, you know, things, this will go away, obviously, and hopefully more people have come closer to Christianity. And if not, oh well. Then they will uh, suffer and die, as Jesse Lee Peterson would always say. All right. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, going to have a fun little day for me today. Johnson Chan, GMC Coin, 404 Coin, and here's the thumbnail. I don't even know why I'm going to title it, but...